You two are on. And I'll be on oh. play. All right. You can use the screen to make sure you're on camera. But it, it cuts off right about here-ish. So. All right. Yeah, there we go. Sounds good, boss. Oh, we didn't use the rock, paper, scissors. Oh, we already no. decided. Oh, also, here's the side. I made you on the sideboard. Yeah, I put the I'll put my stuff over here. Yeah, you might have learned the sideboard. All right. And I'll get my, my storm dice at the ready. We'll put them over here. How are those drakes doing? Oh, not pretty well. I got me some wins. I've been winning. Oh, nice. I've been winning. Hope you draw those lightning bolts. I know, right? I only draw one all tournament. <laughs> Good All right. My goal is to beat you before I even see a Drake. Good luck as, soon as, you, as soon as you play a Drake, Sorry. my mission will be failed. <laughs> so, and then I'll still beat you afterwards, but... Don't pass your hand. That's Mac Doc. I think we can smash it. You're going first? Mario. Okay. Yep. I'm not going to cut. You want to cut mine? Cut you. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yep. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four twenty blades. Good luck. Ooh. And I will mow it. Definitely. You know what? I'll keep this. I'm gonna definitely mow again. My dick's all jamming. Okay. Okay. I will mulligan down to six. Would you like to cut? Nope. Good luck. I'm mulligan down to five. All right. Good luck. Oh, yeah, do what you need. Joey, you're getting a time. All right. Shuffle out a little bit. Uh, I think I like my brain fried, but I So I'm just going to tag into it. I Gotta remind myself to shuffle real good after every round. Every round. Every round. If you shuffled good, then I'll let you keep those cards on top. That's a six. You get one more for good luck. I'm gonna bank All right. Hold on. Finally, I can do it. And I get to take two off the top. Two of them you try to keep them on top? Two go to the bottom. Yep. Okay, in this situation... We can look at it. It's a casual thing. This. I'm going to summon Mystery Sheldrake. And... One of these. No, no, I've, I've uh... Alright, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Uh, you take three All right. Yeah, if you want to yeah, yeah, we'll take a look at it later. Right, I'm just letting you know for like, it doesn't lift. Lift. You gain a life. You gain a life. Uh, you're at 21. 21, past turn. Okay. So, okay. I'll start with an island. I will cast a sleight of hand. I'm going to top two cards in your library. Top two, and I can keep one. And bottom the other. I think I'll keep this one. All right. That's in my graveyard. Uh, your go. I went to or traded a blood pit for a temple garden. Uh, Play a mountain. Was that a hundred times so that no one could, so that I couldn't use it? Then I will. Like, uh, two. Is it charm? Sure. And I'm going to choose. I knew it. Draw two cards. Yeah. 
Oh, I got really yeah, mad. Because he was going to discard two cards. And he had a whole bunch of new cards. Right. 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 On a discard. I'll let it slide one time. On a discard. You're right. Yeah, but that was straight, not playing. What's that enchantment you discarded? Some allergic summoning. Allergic summoning. Huh. It makes stuff stuff whenever you cast stuff. Cool. And pass turn you. Alright, I'll untap. I'll drop another island here, and then I'm going to cast a Merchant Scroll. Searching for something. I search for an instant. Get in my hand. It will save me on my The instant I'm going to get. So yeah, It's going to be pretty scary. Watch out if I can find it. There it is. Psychic Puppetry. Psychic Puppetry is going to go to my hand. Yeah. bunch of cards I've never seen before. Yeah. It's got the arcane stuff. Uh, so you know how splice works? Somewhat. Yeah. So I can pay the splice cost and reveal it from my hand. And uh, just attach its... It, it add its text to another arcane spell. Okay. So uh, I can untap something for just a blue if I cast an arcane spell. I remember hearing that like, if you cast an arcane spell, additional cost. All right, so that's in my hand and that pass. Yeah. So like you're, like you're running blue on blue, you're trying to control me. Well, not quite. I'll draw. And I'll pass you, my friend. Alrighty. Tap draw. I like the Mario mushroom you got going on for the upkeep of mine. Okay. I'm going to tap these islands for two blue. I'm going to hold on to that two blue mana. I'm going to play a Lotus Field. So when Lotus Field enters, I have to sacrifice two other lands. And it's a land itself that uh, taps for three of any color. So then using this two I have floating, I'm going to cycle Vizier of Tumbling Sands. When I cycle it, I get to untap my Lotus Field. Okay. And then I draw a card off the cycling. So I'll untap and draw. And I'm using my graveyard. And now I have this land I can tap for three mana. Okay. So, I'll tap it for three blue. Uh, and I'm going to cast a Twiddle for a blue to untap my Lotus Field. So, if you want to read it. Here it is. And it, you have mana open that you want to... I'll, I'll just keep going and then if you want to respond, let me know. So, keep going. Now I got two mana. Uh... Let's see, I'll tap for three more blue mana and cast Dream's Grip okay. for blue. Uh, also targeting my Lotus Field to untap it. It's like another twiddle. So okay. that's this, and I'm keeping track of how many spells I've cast. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to tap for three red. Using the red and the blue, I'm going to cast a Past in Flames. That's going to give each incident sorcery card in my graveyard a flashback. So one, two, three, four. A lot of people don't like that, Mario. I love it. Okay, so you got to pay the cost. Yeah, so I can basically cast these spells from my graveyard, as if they're in my hand. One time, though. Yeah, one time, and then I get exiled. Okay. And if I cast more spells, uh, they, they, they and they go into my graveyard after this resolves. They don't get flashback, so it's only these four. Yeah, yeah. Usually they go with like a plastic thing. Is that good? Okay. So I'll pay a blue. I'm gonna flashback my twiddle. You can do something amazing. So I'll put the flashback cards over here. That's gonna untap my lotus wheel. And then. I'm going to use one here, I'm going to cast my sleight of hand from flashback. So I'll look at the top two. I'll take uh, this card and bottom this one. Okay, so then we're going to cast Peer Through Depths and Splice a Psychic Puppetry on it. So I'll tap this for three blue. So what this is, it's uh, two, two mana for this one. I made an additional one for this one. So it's three mana total. 
Okay. And when this resolves, I'll get to look at five, uh, dig for an instant or sorcery, and then I also get to untap this land. Okay. So I get the three mana back that I spent for it. So I don't get one more spell count. Uh, so I'll untap. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I'll reveal another fear three depths, and that will go to my hand. Uh, this does not have flashback, so I'll put it in this pile. And then I will do it again, casting this fear three depths. Tap and then tap. Spice, of course. Alright, then I'll reveal an idea of the and I'm about to cast that as well. So, ideas unbound, I cast that in splice, tap and tap. It's uh, fine. I draw three cards and discard three at the end of the turn. So I'll do that. Draw three. There's not going to be an end of the turn, because I'm going to try to win. Yeah, your turn's been going on for a while. It sure has, hasn't it? Um, I don't know if I'm ever get a turn again. Alright, I'll tap for four. I'd be careful here though. I'm gonna flash back Dreams Grip to untap. Um, I think I want to do. Yeah, I want to cast a uh, sleight of hands for one. So look at the top two. Okay, here we go. That one in hand. This one Which ones are exiled? These, these are exiled. You want to put them behind that? Well, I'm not using this area anyways. So I'll put, I'll put them there later. This just helps me keep track. I mean, you can't use these anymore. Yeah, no, that's why they're sideways. I can't use these anymore. So I'll put them. So they don't like count that. towards the storm count. They do, because I already cast them. Oh, okay. Whenever you cast a spell, <laughs> it counts towards storm. Uh, okay, I'm going to tap, go to five blue. Oops. Cycle of Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Untap this. Draw a card. Hmm. All right. Now I'm going to flash back my Merchant Scroll. No, do I want to do that? Uh, okay. I will just uh, flash. I'll, I'll cast this psychic puppetry. Tapping, untapping. I go to four mana floating, 11. Then I'll tap for red. I'll use two red, two blue. Oh, three blue, actually. Um, actually, no. three red and two blue. Flashback my past and flames. So that's going to give all these cards flashback now. So I can cast these from my graveyard. I've done like bosses. I'll uh, cast my psychic puppetry for two. Untap. Then I'll. Uh, Cast and splice ideas unbound. Draw three. That's uh, an exile. Okay. Uh, I'll tap for three blue. Use one of them to twiddle. Goes over here. Um, I'll do a peer through depths splice. One, two, three, four, five. Four How are you splicing everything? It's like your puppetry. That's just the instant, though, isn't it? Well, uh, when I splice with it, I just reveal it from my hand. So this has stayed in my hand the whole time. You understand? <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So since this is an arcane spell, I'm, uh, I'm allowed to do that, where I just keep it in my hand and get its effects. It's kind of, it's kind of broken. No, I'm, I'm in the middle of a pure three depths here. I'm probably going to win. Uh, Don't count your eggs for the head. All right, I'll take uh, this doesn't really matter. put it in my hand. Okay. No <laughs> I'll flash back this pure three depths. Let's splice. I'll reveal reach through mists. 
So this one I can do as well. I can cast Reach Through the Mist and Splice. Uh, that only costs two, and then I can untap. So I net uh, one mana. 18 Storm, draw a card. Uh, Is it over? Nope, I'm about to grape shot you. Hang on. I need one more, two more Storm because you're at 21. So I'll flashback Sleight of Hands. Uh, I'll take that one. Then I'll cast Dreams Grip. Tap and untap. Go to four bl the blue mana floating. Tap it for red. And then I'm going to cast uh, Grape Shot for two red. It gets copied 20 times, and all 20 copies will go at you, and then the original one will also go at you. So it's going to be 21 damage. Good game. All right. Good game. Good game. Uh, game two? Yeah. Do you want a sideboard? No, I'm straight. I didn't get to do enough. All right. Hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I might get a sideboard. I, res I respect your, uh, your budget deck, though. That's... Those are hard to pull yes, off. Game two. All right, good luck. You want to cut? I'm not going to cut. You want to you cut mine? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm not as familiar Oh, yeah. Shuffle again. I didn't know if you sort of stayed in as a regular kill squad. I didn't know if that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. In response. Okay. Yeah. You're going first. I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do you say? That works. I think that's what I want. That seems good. That seems really good. I guess my dick just stopped working. I'll keep. Oops. I knocked your dice over. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, crazy. I do. That's awesome. Right. This is this is not an easy deck to play. So mad was storm ad nauseum and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, I know. I think it's like playing. It's a pretty simple one. You can learn. There's only like a few outs that you have to play, and like how to play against storm. You can beat storm very well with ad nauseum. Most people think. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. In this story, it looks like that turned out well for you. Yeah. So against it down. Storm has a better chance against Infect than uh, Ice. Because they can like, at least try to bolt you or Sudden Four hundred. Like one of my other players against Storm Sudden. What is uh, like two Sun Shocks and right. two Sun Shocks? Right. Um, yeah, like, why would you play that? Yeah. I, I played in my like burn deck. Sort of the Game three. If you yeah. again, this is pretty fun. If you need like pyroclasm, yeah. yeah. that's something. Yeah. I'm mulligan yeah. down to five. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you can just chant one. Three, three, four, 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 and in fact, they don't play it anymore. You target it, and then it gets like plus three. I, I took it out for today. I always did. Oh, yeah, well, the, uh, it's not a. I'm just gonna run away. Right? But like they, like in our burn, and burn deck, or burn storm deck, we play so. Okay. I'm going to just. Dude, Fortnite's great. Where's your parents? Okay. Hey, Chris. You left. Got it. I got it. Right, Jay. I think we're going to do it. Same. Yeah, this was the weird tech graphic presentation. Today's the first day. Uh, you know what? I'm mulligan down to four. Oh, jeez. Don't tell me that. This <laughs> music works even on the floor. It's just too ugly. It's almost never a situation. Too ugly. He got card advantage on me right now. Yeah. Well, I don't win by card advantage. I win by doing 20 damage to you in one turn. Eventually, my deck's going to start one shot people. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. How do you do it? With the, with the drakes. Okay, that later. Two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven. Do you make one of your drakes really big and then fling it? That's more than that. No? Ooh. One, two, three, four, six. Here we go. We're going down the floor. That's another. All right, I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. this. Yeah. 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 You get rid of this. 
You ready this? Then I get rid of... You want to know I do it. I really don't have this. No, 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 that's fine. I didn't know. And I get rid of... No, you got four now. Right? Really dark. Yeah, but that's all you need. Alright, I'm on to go. Alright. Yep. Now the the other Ready when you are. Okay. On to go. Alright. I will play an island. And I have torment script. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a good one. I'll uh, draw then. Unless you can do something with your blue mana. Uh, pass turn. Oh, Alright, I'll draw. I'll drop uh, Island. Unfortunately. And uh, hmm. I'm going to pass. Draw. It's light test. I'm out. Pass. I'll draw. That's exactly what I was thinking of. I'm gonna cast a sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. Look, see what I got here. I'll take that one and bottom that one. And land for turn will be. What you want to look in the blog is if you see blue. Island. Go ahead. Uh, yellow, if you see that, play a map. Oh, is this the subtracted thing where it's cyan, magenta, yellow, just subtracted colors? Yeah. If you see that, because then. Yeah, I'll play a name with Drake. Yeah. It was printed in one layer. So it's got zero until you get lots of bits. Cool. Alright, that's good. I think I just went right to the back, but I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, uh, I wonder if I can do it here. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to go for it on turn three again. Uh, tap for two blue. Uh, play Lotus Field, sack my islands. Then I'm going to use both of my blue. I'm going to cast Reach Through Mists and then splice Psychic Puppetry onto it. So I'll draw a card and then untap my Lotus Field. Draw. The light is the best test. Um, then I'm going to cast Ideas Unbound. Tapping for blue and untapping when I splice. So I'll draw three. That's the other test for a card. This is a. This one, I got from here. The best idea is to deal cards from the base. Because some sets, like, if you get cards from Dark Steel. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap for blue. You can see the colors. I'm going to use a blue and I'm going to cast Twiddle. I'm going to target your Tormod's Crypt, which would tap. I know what Dark Steel is for sure. So I tap it, and then response to that, I'm going to sack it. Sure. So that's going to the graveyard, right? These will be exile, and then, and then this will resolve after that you've already sacked that. Okay, so that's a great So these will be in exile, and then this will go to the graveyard. Okay. I don't want to use it. Okay. Then I'm going to use one more and I'm going to cast Twiddle targeting my Lotus Field this time. So like if you put a Valir on the field, you get to see Then I'm going to use this. Flip the phone One blue and I'm going to cast uh, Sleight of Hand. So I'll look at the top two. I'll take this one, put this one on bottom, and I'll count one of both of those. I'll cast Ideas Inbound and Splice onto it, so I get to draw it. Okay. I'll cast a Reach Through Mist and Splice. So I spend two and tap for three, so I got one floating. And I draw a card. And look at the coloration, but that happens from sets, so don't like it. Yeah. 
I'll use uh, this one to another, cast a Serum Visions. What's the card from? Oh, Pathfinder. Starting to fizzle out here. Draw. Let's grade two. Let's go. Alright. Okay, let's see. I'll put both on top. Uh, I'll tap for blue. I'm going to use one to cast another Serum Visions. Uh, draw. Let's grade two. Uh, top bottom. Then I'll cycle the zero of tumbling sands for two. Untap. And draw a card. I'm just doing the what's it called? That was the only part I can name out of Tomlin's thing. I think everyone in this room should have a Yeah, I made a mistake. I know it's exactly what I should have did. I might have made a mistake too, actually. <laughs> that time I made a mistake. I know what I'm supposed to do to this. Oh, I have a for I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Yes. They're different. Well, let's compare another complex card. They can be an off on a printing. Alright, here's what I have to do now. I think I have to tap for red. And use two red. I'm going to cast a great shot. Gets eight copies. So I'll have four copies going at that, and then there will be five total going at you. So the four copies press the original. Okay. It's nine total, so four and five. And then that should be dead. Down to 15. Yep. That's kind of a whiff. So I'm going to end my turn. I cast Ideas Unbound twice. So this goes away. I have to discard three cards twice. So I'll discard uh, one, two, three. But if it's a sanction, one, two, I don't curse you I'm sorry. The look off. That's why I'm saying. Right. Look at their Go for it. Look around her face. So remember, I had Jed's promise. So these look like fourth generation or fifth generation. Swift water, quill, and gain of life. Sure. Alright. Untap. Draw. Yeah, that's exactly the card I needed. Okay. I'll cast uh, Twiddle. Give me like two or three. So. It doesn't matter. I'm looking at the back of the And I'll tap for red. Uh, it would have been something. It would have been something. And use yeah. three red and a blue. I'm going to oh, cast Pass yeah. Flames. So now all this stuff has flashback. So I can flashback Twiddle. One. Untap this. These two have two I'll do it again with this one. So I net two mana from it. I tap for three. Untap. Spend one on it. Uh, I'll do that again with this one. So I got four mana floating. Uh, okay. I can flash back Ideas Unbound it looks like a yeah. and splice onto it. It's the only card in my hand. Uh, so draw three cards. And my binders are here, so like, I think you'd get more. Uh, I'll flash back. Yeah, you got a lot more. Reach through mists, splice. So uh, net one and draw a card. Uh, flash back uh, Serum Visions. One, draw a card. Um, Scry 2. Well, the only other thing is the um, and stuff. Yeah. I'll go both on bottom. Do I have it now? A seven storm count. Yeah, so now I can tap for three red. I'm going to use two of it to cast Grape Shot and hold priority, uh, flashing it back. Uh, actually, wait. Does this work? I was going to remand it. Huh. I actually don't know how this works. Because what I was going to do is uh, cast remand to return Grape Shot to my hand. But when you flash back a spell, I think it goes into exile. But, so you're trying to recast it twice. But if it goes, if it's in my hand, I don't think I have to exile it. Because it can be in my hand instead of... If you counter your own spell, it does. I counter, I counter it, but I return it to my to my hand. I actually think that. I mean, that's one option. Is I, I get my storm count up to sixteen and then one shot you with it. 
But the other option is to cast it, return it to my hand, and then cast it again. And all of the storm copies will go off each time. Whatever you want to do. Something Wait and get me a turn. Okay, well I'm not. I'm planning on not giving you a turn because I'm going to try to win right here. Well, I mean, do so, what you got to do. All right. So I'll, I'll cast the grape shot. Uh, there's going to be eight copies, it, seven copies of it going at you, and I'm going to remand the original one, which will go back to my hands. And then that's nine spells. Uh, so you'll take seven damage. Nine. Put, you at, uh, put you at nine. Then I'll use two mana and I'll cast the man, uh, grape shot again. This time it'll do ten damage. You can cast two sorcery stuff. Well, I let the first one resolve. That ain't I'm, speed, I'm casting it on my man phase. Well, you can't cast two sorcerers in one go, right? There's gotta be yeah. instant sorcerers. Well, there's nothing on the stack right now, because we let it all resolve when you took the damage. Uh, good game. Yeah. Okay. Good game. Sorry for the complicated stuff there. I'm sorry. All four losers. He's got one It's not clear on the card what that's supposed to do. I'm gonna look that up later. Yeah, I thought you couldn't cast two sorcerers. No, there was nothing wrong with that. I was wondering if I was allowed to remand it back to my hand when I flashback it. Yeah, I thought it was like instant sorcery. I don't know. I ruined some kids' day. Yeah, you're allowed to cast sorceries as long as there's nothing on the stack. And that was the case there.